Hello friends, in this video we will show a demonstration of the Trello mobile app and we will cover all the most important features that one needs to start using the app and running with it. So we will show how to create a board, we will show how to create a card, how to add a list and how to enable notifications in this video. So first we will start with creating a board. So we go to boards and we add a board over here by clicking on the plus icon. And then we can select if you want to add a card or a board. So in this case, we say we want to add a board. And let's say we call it new project 2, just for example. And then over here, we can assign a background, which is an excellent feature. So if you want photos, say we go for, so there are multiple photos, which way you like. So maybe we go for Casey Horner. It's a pretty good background and then we can go there and the background is applied. Then the visibility option is important. We can either choose board members and observers. So this is only people who are part of the board can see the board. Team members, in this people who belong to your Trello team can see the board. And public, this is basically if anybody on the internet has the link then of the board, then they can see the board. Our recommendation here is to use team members because that's what we have seen works for most use cases. After that, once we have configured the board, we click on create. And this gives a view with the background we selected. Now, let's say we want to add a list. Over here, we add a list and we call it sales and marketing, sales and marketing person finalization, right? So, or let's call the list phase two. I think that's that's better. Let's call the list phase two. And we click on add. So a list is created. Now, then we can add a car to the list. And in this case, let's say marketing finalize. Then we click on add. After a card is created, we can add details on the card by just clicking on the card. And over here, we can tap a description like select marketing firm and sign contract just for example and then we do done we can assign a start date to it say i start working on this from tomorrow done and i expect to complete it by 11th and maybe share the contract on friday done and then then we can also put labels and in this case we can click on edit label and we can assign the label that let's say we this is a must have task and we can have a task of we can have a color of green for this and then we do done after that the label is assigned as you can see must have and then you can assign it to a team member in this case i will assign it to myself for now and any attachments that is required like any picture or any document that has been scanned can be attached here and then we can also comment so for instance i comment here must be done within 5000 just for example to put a comment here and then we click save the comment is saved and after that what what we can do is we can these options we'll see but i think one option that you want to highlight is copy link in, in case you want to share this card link with anybody you can just click here to copy link and share it with somebody so now we have that card over here, start date 7th March, end date 11th March and shows as a comment. Now let's say we add another card, just a quick example over here we say accounting finalize. So this is how the list is starting to form and we can add the main features. Now let's say we want to add another list, then we can just swipe and add the list and over here we call it phase 1. and in phase one as well, we can add a card, like for example, let's say revenue calculations for the month. Then we can add that. I'll just do this quickly to give a sense of how this works. And then description, calculate total revenue. So it's fairly quick at this point. And then labels, you can again add must have over here, or you can define a new label and you can say um, regulatory right if it's required by regulation you can also have two labels so maybe you can say must have regulatory 
and then comment over here that please use latest accounting software in case you have also migrated to software you can just mention that and now we can see we have phase two that is what you should do later in the future and phase one what we are currently working on and and apart from that we can also do things like you can see about this board which we'll cover in a later video and we can add power ups so this is fairly important and we'll make a full separate video on this but the idea here is that they can enable specific features with the board that are very helpful like for instance show them on a calendar all your cards so you can see exactly which task is due at a specific point in time and of course you can invite people that if you want to invite anybody in the team you can invite here and uh, you can or, or you can use your contacts now now so this is the and also any comments and notifications you mentioned are summarized here in case you need to see and there this synced here which basically means it's synced with the web so if you open this on the web you will see the latest version as well so at this point what we have is we have the card and we have the board now I'll close this now you can see all my recent boards are appearing on the dashboard which is the board tab and over here I can see new project 2 if I click on it then I just see what I just created now in the home tab there are next features that Trello would bring and you can see it you can take a look for instance keep track of upcoming due dates mention this and tasks and then you can just do like you, know, you can click on it and see more information but again we'll cover this in a separate video the other important thing we want to show over here is notifications so if you go to notifications you can see all the important notifications that has happened in the in the past and you can also see any notification that is specific to me and and any comments so of course not everything is appearing here especially the comment i just put that is because we have to first go to settings and choose what kind of notifications we want and this is this will also result in the push notification in the mobile so like if somebody mentions me if a card is due soon for card notifications if i'm added to a card and also we can define that we want all notifications to a board etc and this is very important because it shows me that if if it allows me to be up to date of the most recent happenings and this becomes very useful if you're working on a multi-person team because if your teammate has updated something and you need to work on that after he's done then this is pretty useful and obviously we can turn off the notifications if you don't want to be notified continuously and so on and then we also want to cover this final search feature over here you can search for stuff and this this also will make a separate video on and finally there is the account information where you can see your information when you join trello which all teams you're a part of so like this is the team and these are the team boards and here is the new project 2 that we just created science project one so these boards had been created earlier but they're still showing here and etc log out if you want to log out and and so on they also have certain accessibility features for colorblind and so on so so that's the tutorial in the next video we'll cover trello power-ups on the mobile app which is very useful and very powerful and we'll show how so what we talk, what we're talking about is these and we'll show how these can be really used to add more features in this specific example we have a power up like the custom fields power up and we'll show more power ups going